Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today we are going to go over the brand new quest line that we will see from Jaihana in Valdraken. This quest line is geared toward new pet battlers. Of course, returning pet battlers will be doing it as well because it gets you three rare 25 pets by the end of it and a nice little bit of charms. So right here we have Jaihana and she will start the quest chain. She is at the Little Scales Daycare in Valdraken and you will find her all the way out here. So first quest we have up is Oh Where Oh Where Can He Be? Which is basically asking you to find the missing Lubbins. And for this quest you'll get the pet Lubbins and the pet battle bandage. You're going to go ahead and accept that. And he's not too terribly far away, just kind of looks like he fell down the mountain. You're not even going to need to use too terribly much. You're just going to dive right off the mountain and find him right here. And you're going to bandage him up. And then you are going to return to Jaihana. Then you will turn in the quest and you get your lovin's. Ta-da! But that's not where the chain ends. So next up, we will be visiting Pachu in the Azure Span because apparently Lubbins' confidence is not quite there. So we've healed his wounds, but his, his ego is injured. So you're going to accept that, and then you will head out to the Azure Span. Once you land in Ascara, Pachu is over here, next to the corral with the big mammoth. And she will be the one with the Audix sitting on her head. Jaihana sent you to the right Tuscar, Amiyita. We'll get Lubbins back to his old self in no time. Complete quest. What Lubbins needs? Pachu lets us know that they think they know what we have to do, but first we're going to talk about it and we are going to have a gift once we are done. And Pachu basically explains there are two kinds of pets, the ones that are happiest just being your friend and following you around Azeroth, and the ones that like to fight other pets because it makes them stronger. Lovins is that second kind of pet. Basically, it's explaining the two types of pet battlers out there, the ones who are pet battlers and the ones who are purely pet collectors. I know that fighting seems scary, but it's really just their way of playing. Nobody dies in a fight, but they can get hurt. But that's why we gotta train up pets to get stronger, whispers to you. They get hurt less that way. You wanna try and help? Here's a magic battle stone. This will give Lubbins a boost and help his readiness. Thank you, I believe I understand. So at this point, basically what you're getting is you are getting a flawless dragonkin battle stone, which will get Lubbins to rare quality. And then you also get 10 polished pet charms on top of that. So we'll hit accept. Next, what we're going to do is we'll go into our collections. We're going to type in Lovins, and we'll summon them. We will target them and open our bags and right click on the Flawless Battle Training Stone. And Lovins is now rare quality. 
Next, we will click on a practice bout. It says, all right, now that you've used that stone on Levens, let's have a practice bout to test out his skills. There's a big old horn swag named Gwash that lives on the shore to the north of here. Gwash loves to fight. Well, play really. He's super good with other pets too. It'll be a perfect playtime. I mean, fight for Lovins. So we'll hit accept. Gwash is basically a hop, skip, and a jump north. As of right now, we're pretty sure that Gwash is a quest only battle, meaning we're not going to see them for any other purpose except for this quest. Gwash is a single enemy battle and they are an aquatic. They also have a boss buff, which means they cannot be dealt more than 35% of their health at one time. You also do not have to have Lovins on your team when you fight them. So you can just grab some flying pets with strong damaging abilities. I've got Crackers and Axe Beak Hatchling. I probably don't even need both of them. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to Rain Dance, Nocturnal Strike, and then finish them off with Peck. So you probably only need one flying pet to deal with Gouache. Or of course you can use Lovins. At this point, it would Gouache would scale with Lovins as long as you don't have any other pets on your team higher than level 1. Completely up to you. We're going to go ahead and start the battle. We will start off with Rain Dance. And then Nocturnal Strike. And as you can see, that boss damage reduction buff popped up. And then we are just going to peck until Gouache dies. And even if they get a crit and we lose our flying buff, we're still faster. And as you can see, it's over in five rounds. And the battle is complete. So really, you're not going to need probably more than one flying pet if you have them to go against Gouache. Once you defeat Gouache, you will fly back over to Pachu, or Dragon Ride. Technically, it's Dragon Riding. Wow, that went great. Good job, Lovins. Don't worry about Gouache. He's a big ol' softy. He'll be just fine. You complete your quest and you get the ultimate battle training stone. And of course, you can use this on any pet you want, but because we are here for Lovins, I am going to go ahead and summon Lovins out. And I will... Use the stone on Lovins. Next in the chain is this calls for a specialist. Lovins is doing lots better now, but I think he still needs some more help. A little bit ago I met a super smart dragon scale expedition explorer named Hanako who works with Proto Drakes all the time. She's a pet trainer too. I bet she could help Lovins more. I think she was going to the Waking Shores. I bet if you go there, you'll find her. I'm so happy I was able to help you. She waves happily. Goodbye. Good luck, Lovins. We'll accept that, and then we will be heading over to the Waking Shores. So Hanako's not directly at a flight path. What you're going to want to do is you are going to want to fly from Iskara to the Dragon Scale Base Camp, and as you can see on the map, She's just west of the Dragon Scale Base Camp. Now that we have landed in the Dragon Scale Base Camp, we are going to mount up on our dragon. Hop up over the treetops and just glide on over. Avoiding all of the proto drakes on our way.
Hachi was right to send you here. I've been working with Proto Drakes my whole life. I don't know if there's anyone on Azeroth who knows more about them than I do. A complete quest. The next quest up is Born to be Wilder. There's a lot of information you need to know. Let's have a talk and then we can decide what's best for Lovins. Lovins only needs two things, a buddy and a battle. Hear me out, pets work better in teams. So the more pets you have to support Lovins, the better. One of the best ways to find more pets for your team is to go out in the wild and capture them. Basically what we're seeing in this portion of what's essentially a tutorial quest line for pet battles is how we will battle wild pets. To capture a new pet, you need to battle against it until it's weak enough to be captured. Then you can use your pet trap to capture it. Everyone wins. Lovins gets another chance to prove his strength and a new buddy to fight alongside him. I understand. We will complete quest and with this one we get 10 charms. And next up is a friend for Lovins. Like we talked about, Lovins needs two things, a buddy and a battle. I think we can get him both at the same time. This area is a prime mating ground for shy flies. If you look around a bit, you're sure to find a bunch. Remember, you need to weaken it before you can capture it with your trap. Come back when you have one. It might be a bit bruised after your battle, but I've got some battle training stones that'll fix them right up. So for this portion of the quest chain, Hanako is going to reveal the shy flies in the area for us. And if you've been looking for these shy flies, you are not going to find them until after you get to this portion of the chain. So if you're looking to complete the Dragon Isle Safari achievement and you haven't been able to find a shy fly, this is why. Because they are only going to show up once you accept this quest. And as you can see, the shy flies have all popped up on our map here. Now because I don't have a rematch, I keep having to assemble teams, and even though this is a flyer, I'm really fond of Super Bark, because you have Howl and Super Bark, which eats through most anything you're going to come up against, and then I have Scraps in the last slot to give me Bone Bite, so something a little different if I need to finish off a whole team. In the future, we might see a whole team along with Shy Fly. For right now, the wild battles on the Dragon Isles are all single pet battles, so we're not seeing anything on the back line at the moment, but that could change. So we're just going to howl and super bark. And then if this doesn't get them down far enough, we will swap to the next one. And we will super bark with them. And pray that the shy fly doesn't bubble. And now they are below 35% HP, which is what you're looking for with your traps. So we can go ahead and start throwing our traps. I do have an upgraded trap. This isn't the trap you're going to see if you haven't gotten any of the upgraded traps for pet battles. Your trap's going to look a little different than mine. And there we have it, we have captured our shy fly. So the reason you'll want pets that have super bark or weakening blow is those abilities will never reduce a pet below 1 HP. Which means you'll never accidentally kill the pet that you are trying to capture. going to hop back up here. You don't mind my terrible driving skills. Nicely done. I believe these battle stones are just what your new pet needs. You know what? Take a few polished pet charms too. Did I mention you can trade them for good stuff? Because you can. 
what this does is this gives us exactly the number of training stones we need to upgrade our new shy fly to level 25 because they are already rare all of the ones you're going to come across for the quest will be rare Next up, we have So How Did It Go? You've done well. Lovins is doing much better and is in excellent spirits. Jaihana will want to know, so go back and give her the good news. And as you can see here, once we complete this, we will get Mr. Toots and another Ultimate Battle Training Stone. We'll go ahead and accept the quest. We will fly back to the Dragon Scale Base Camp. And then we will fly to Valdraken. Now that we landed, we will fly back over to Jaihana. I'm so glad you were able to help Lovins. Perhaps you can help another animal I rescued. His name is Mr. Toots. He is extremely sweet and I think you two would get along. What do you say? Do you think you can handle another pet? Then we'll hit complete quest. Mr. Toots will be in your bags. You'll hit summon. Hit him with that purple stone, and congratulations if this is your first time doing any pet battling, you now officially have three pets at level 25. To kind of explain why this can be super important, you're not able to uncage any pets higher than the highest level on your roster, which means if the highest level you have in your pet journal is level 5, you can't buy a level 25 off the auction house and uncage them, or any level higher than level 5, which is your highest level pet. By doing this quest chain and getting these, even just the first pet, to level 25, you are looking at being able to go to the auction house and purchase level 25s and uncage them immediately. This is a huge step up from the previous way that we would have people get their first 25 through either leveling in wild battles or with the individual training stones if you happen to have any. Or the other option, which would be to set up your pet battle area in your garrison. So the pet menagerie, when you first set that up, you get a level 25 stone. And that would help you get your first level 25. This quest chain is going to get you there much, much faster. Which is why it's going to be a big improvement over the previous ways we've seen trying to get people their first level 25 pet but that is going to be it for me today i hope you all enjoyed this look at the new quest chain that we have to get three level 25 pets lubbins a shy fly and mr toots who has this adorable little top hat that we see here if you have any questions for me about the quest chain or leveling in general or anything to do with pet battles, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you have any other videos you'd like to see me make on pet related topics, you are also more than welcome to leave those suggestions in the comments. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in the world. And until next time everyone, happy battling!